Yeah. I've got this old scooter and it doesn't work anymore, the batteries are flat. I can't replace them because it's going to cost too much. But I did have some LiPo batteries lying around. So I figure we'll come along, we'll take the scooter and interchange it out. So we're now going to convert this to LiPo. You want to open it up and disconnect the battery pack. Inside is this huge, heavy, lead-acid battery pack that no longer works. So in here, we have the batteries. Two giant ones. They are 12 volts, 15 amp hours each. Connected in serial, which makes it 24 volts. So we're going to substitute that with a couple of 6S's, which would give us 22.2 volts. These ones have uh, 4,500 milliamp hours, which is 4.5 amp hours. So if we hook them up in parallel, they should give us about 9 amp hours. So first thing I noticed on this scooter is there are a ton of warning messages all over the place. It seems like pretty much the paint job is a huge warning message. But one thing I can tell you right now is during a LiPo conversion, you can no longer use the standard charger that comes with the scooter. It's just not possible. Normally the batteries are lead acid. We will be using LiPo batteries, which charge completely differently. I'll put a link in the description to a good balanced charger that will charge LiPo batteries for you, no problem. To do this conversion, we're going to need to create a parallel cable to hook up both LiPo batteries to the scooter. Get yourself six 10 gauge cables, three red, three black. I'm only showing four here, but you will need six. We're going to use three male Deans connector plugs and one female Deans connector. Make sure you have some good solder. We're going to be soldering a lot in this project. And a whole bunch of shrinky dinks. These are actually heat shrink wire wrap cable sleeve tubes, but I call them shrinky dinks. I'm only showing two here, but you will need a whole bunch and of varying sizes as well. And of course, you're going to need LiPo batteries. I'm using two 6S 4500 milliamp hour batteries. Hooked in parallel, it'll give us exactly nine amp hours. You'll want a low voltage alarm. This can also be used to test your batteries, but mostly used to sound an alarm when the LiPos get low on power. This is great because you don't want your LiPo batteries to discharge too much. Also grab yourself a LiPo safe bag just in case. Most LiPos fail while charging, so you can keep the six S's in the bag while you charge them. First thing we're going to do is snip the battery cable off the old lead acid battery pack. Be sure to snip each wire one at a time. There may be residual charge in these and things could get messy due to a short circuit. It's best practice to do this even if there is no charge. Good for times when you forget to check and or you're diffusing a bomb. So let's lay out our plan to build the parallel cable that will connect the batteries to the scooter. We're going to assemble the black wire and the red wire in two Y shapes. We're going to solder in the center points. Once we've soldered it and insulated it, we're then going to move the two wires next to each other. We're going to then solder on the female connector on the left side and one, two male connectors on the right side, positive to positive and negative to negative. 
Now here I'm demonstrating how awesome my soldering capabilities are. This is one of the best solders I've ever done. It's the best ever. This is an example of an out of focus solder that I did. Once we have our wires, we want to put the shrinky dink over the top of them. And then we want to heat them up to make them shrink. This will protect our wires from contacting each other. This is the most fun, the shrinky dinks. Yes, I can shrinky dink all day. I'll just be there shrinky dinking it up. Bliss. Absolute bliss. Can't go wrong there. That looks really nice. What a stellar job. Insert the female Dean's plug into your vise. And then we solder the positive to the positive terminal and the negative to the negative terminal. Then scooch down another shrinky dink and shrink wrap it onto your connection so we don't get any short circuits. Do the soldering and the shrinky dinks. And now we have two male plugs on our right that'll connect to the batteries and a female plug on the left. We have here our new parallel cable. One female connector on the left and two male connectors on the right. We'll probably be bending this around quite a bit inside the scooter so we're going to add some bigger shrinky dinks around the connection points. You can't do enough shrinky dinking. Once that's complete, we'll have a solid parallel cable we can use for our 6S batteries. We're just going to test out the connections, make sure it all connects up nice here. Ultimately, we're going to put them on top of each other. And now we have a parallel 6S battery with a female connector. Now onto the power connector for the scooter. This is pretty much the same thing. We'll be inserting a, a male Dean's plug on the right. Same as before, we're going to attach the male Dean's plug to our vise, then solder on the wires, add our shrinky dinks. Now our connector to the scooter is complete. And we can shrinky dink it up. I love shrinky dinking. Can't go wrong with shrinky dinking. Shrinky dinking is awesome. Let's test out our connection. You can see here with the blurry batteries, we can attach the scooter connection that will plug into our scooter. Make sure the alarm is plugged in to the LiPo batteries. <coughs> Insert your battery pack into the LiPo safe bag. Now you're ready to install it in the scooter. I'm going to now put our assembled package in. Well, how easy is that? It's plenty of room in here. All right. Connect up our bike, turn it on, yeah, Woo. that's what I'm talking about right there, this is going to be fun. Okay, let's throw on this here, when the batteries get low the alarm will go off. Some my fingers. Let's go have some fun. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.